All right, guys, in the next few weeks to a few months, I would love to focus on patchouli fragrances that I've never spoken about on this channel, such as this one today called Ab Ruby from the house of Atelier des Ors. In this Saffron review video, I'm going to review Ab Ruby for you today, and you are going to have a chance at winning a full bottle of Ab Ruby if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA, UK, and the EU. So if you want to find out about Ab Ruby focusing on patchouli, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today we're going to talk about Ab Ruby from the house of Atelier des Ors. This is a fragrance I have not spoken about on the channel, but I remember when it was first launched and when I first discovered the house at Javoy in Paris back in January of 2015. I've spoken a lot about this house, but today it's all about Ab Ruby. But if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So as I mentioned, I am going to focus on and try and cover and do reviews of fragrances that are featuring patchouli that I've never spoken about. This is a fragrance that I had sampled for the first time back in 2015, January of 2015, and this is when they had just launched the brand. And along with this fragrance, they also launched L'Armée du Desert, Lune Feline, Queer Sacra, and Rose Omeyade. So this is Ab Ruby, basically it stands for Ruby Dawn. I specifically requested this fragrance to be sent to me because you know me, I love patchouli, and this one's a great one. I'm surprised I had not really spoken about it, but I'm glad it's here now and I'm going to tell you all about it. So Atelier de Sors Ab Ruby was launched in 2015. It's created by Marie Salamagna. A 100ml bottle like this is $275. Of course, it's EDP concentration, and I would actually call this an oriental woody fragrance. And for notes, what we've got are bergamot, grapefruit, black currant at the top. In the heart, you have sage, violet, and iris. In the base, you've got patchouli, vetiver, and praline. So not a lot going on with this fragrance, but in the end, it's mostly about the patchouli because what I get here is a very, very earthy patchouli with uh, these like undertones, not even like fully exposing themselves uh, of um, the black currant note and the praline note. It's interesting because it does get a little fruity, a very, very faint fruitiness comes in, and it does get a little bit gourmandy, and it hints at a little bit of other gourmand slash patchouli fragrances with the praline coming in. But in the end, it's mostly about the patchouli here. It's not a lot about those notes, but they are trying to come in and come through and they don't fully expose themselves. At least when I was wearing the fragrance, they didn't really expose themselves. You know what, at the top, it does get some freshness with the bergamot and grapefruit. And then uh, the, the grapefruit and bergamot are not very long lived. And this is when the black currant exposes itself. But then in the heart, it gets a little aromatic with the sage and the iris is pretty potent here in fact I feel like the fragrance features patchouli it also features a vetiver and then the iris is also a very very important player here in this fragrance so it's a powdery experience slightly aromatic with the sage but the fragrance is mostly about what's going on in the base it's patchouli it's vetiver and it's praline again the praline doesn't fully expose itself I feel like it doesn't fully go gourmand it tries to it doesn't just like the black currant it tries to be fruity but it doesn't fully go there but you do pick it up there are very slight minor hints at least that's how I was experiencing the fragrance so it doesn't fully go fruity it doesn't fully go gourmand but then they're there they're kind of like trying to support the the fragrance with those notes but in the end as I said it's mostly about the patchouli vetiver and iris and they work wonderfully together it's a very very earthy patchouli it doesn't come off very smooth, it's very um, dry. There's a dryness about it, but when the praline and the black currant try to expose themselves, that's it, it gives it a little bit of a moisture uh, experience rather than a dry experience. But in the end, it's wonderful, it smells great. It's, um, I speak a lot about a few brands like Javoy's uh, uh, Psychedelique and uh, also uh, Reminiscence um, Patchouli. This is not like that at all. It's not the chocolate cakey patchouli. And as I said, there is praline no listed as a, a note here. It doesn't, it doesn't go chocolatey to me, not so much. It's very, very faint. So if you like it earthy and dry and vetivery with iris, then definitely try 
Ab Ruby. Again, it stands for Ruby Dawn. Uh, Ab Ruby is in French, of course. And as also mentioned, we do have a full bottle giveaway. If you want to participate in the giveaway, please click the link to Saffron in the info box. Head there and follow their rules on how to win your bottle of Ab Ruby. And this is an awesome bottle, an awesome house, and you've got the gold flakes floating in here as you can see. Um, come back here after you participate in the giveaway and let me know your thoughts on this fragrance and the house itself. Do you enjoy patchouli fragrances? Have you sampled Ab Ruby? Do you like any of their other fragrances? One more thing I want to mention is the, there is new packaging with the fragrance. The fragrance uh, box and the coffret box is now like this and uh, the fragrance sits wonderfully in here. So this is brand new. These boxes were not like this before. When I first bought my Lune Feline, this is not how I got it. And this closes like that. It has a nice pull right here. And then uh, it fits right into the box like this. And voila. That's that's how the fragrance comes right there. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this fragrance and of course the house. Do you know any of their fragrances? Do you own them? Have you watched any of my uh, videos with, uh, the, about the fragrances with uh, Megan from the house, the brand Atelier des Ors, and also Jean-Philippe Clermont. I've done videos with them. If you haven't caught those and you're curious to learn more about Atelier des Ors, please click the link uh, in the info box and you'll head there to find out more about this house. Thanks so much for watching this video today. If you have any questions, or comments please list below otherwise please like this video please share it follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye